My name is Jeffrey T. Sammons. I'm a professor of history at New York University and the co-author of Harlem's Rattlers and the Great War, which is about the 369th Regiment uh, and the African-American quest for uh, freedom. Uh, it was published in uh, 2014 uh, by uh, University Press of, of, of Kansas. I was also a Larry Hackman Fellow uh, at the New York State Archives, which was very helpful in uh, the production of this uh, work uh, in terms of the resources that were made available to me, uh, in fact, digitized at my request uh, and uh, uh, now available to the world to uh, use for research. So the purpose of my talking to you today is to uh, tell you about an article that will appear in the fall 2022 issue of the Archives magazine on Clinton J. Peterson uh, and his uh, year in France, which was a serialized uh, memoir in the Putnam County uh, Courier. Uh, Clinton J. Peterson uh, was from Kent Cliffs, uh, 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 New York, uh, uh, and Putnam County, and uh, uh, he became a major in the uh, 369th Regiment, uh, but during World War I, uh, he was a sergeant in Company K, the company commanded by uh, Hamilton uh, Fish uh, III. He liked to call himself Junior, but uh, he was really uh, the third, and uh, he recruited uh, uh, Clinton J. Peterson for his company. It seemed as though Peterson had some relationship to the Fish family uh, as an employee and, and as a very close uh, uh, friend. Uh, interestingly, Peterson actually spent a part of his youth in an almshouse. So it's interesting to see this rise of Peterson from almshouse to military hero and also uh, uh, an officer and a gentleman and a member of the Reveille Club, uh, which was a organization established by officers of the 369th Regiment uh, after uh, uh, the war uh, to uh, show the character uh, of uh, the men who had, uh, who had served. Thank you very much for your attention and I hope you will read the article and the uh, fall 22 uh, issue of the Archives magazine.